Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today we're running huskies in the Arctic Circle of Norway. Norway, beautiful, vast and wild. From the soft fjords of the southwest to the cold, icy wilderness of the Arctic North, Norway is certainly breathtaking. But how did the settlers of old once manage to get around? When deep snow blocked their roots and with winter climates so harsh that existence would have proven to be sometimes impossible. The answer, sled dogs. Sled dogs were vital for transportation in Arctic climes, hauling supplies in areas that were inaccessible by other means. The original sled dogs were chosen for size, strength and stamina, but modern day sled dogs are bred for speed and endurance. Most sled dogs weigh around 25 kilograms. They can run up to 45 kilometers an hour. Because of this, sled dogs have very tough webbed feet with closely spaced toes, acting like snowshoes. Working huskies are generally not the classic perfect Siberian show husky look that you see at shows like Crufts and on the arm of people in parks. They can look quite scrappy, but endearing at the same time. Many are made up of different dog sled types, all bred together for lightness, speed and endurance. Today I'm learning to ride a rig with deep forest husky sledding in Arctic Norway. I've tried a wheeled rig before with fluffy samoids, also freight pulling Alaskan Malamutes and UK based Siberian huskies too. But today it's the real deal and I've flown into the Arctic Circle to properly steer my own sled with more dogs than I've ever handled before. And I'm a little nervous, to be quite honest. Before anyone asks, I absolutely do not support the monster marathon husky dog races that take place across the world, resulting in many canine deaths and casualties. However, in smaller distances, huskies really adore working and running in caring and kind environments. Well, maybe I'm completely potty. I have tried karting with huskies in the United Kingdom with no snow, but today I have travelled all the way to northern Norway to have a go with the real deal. And these guys are supposedly pretty fast. I've got five huskies per sled. I've only had two huskies before, and they can start off really fast. And I've been told around 20 miles an hour. So we're going to be heading off in this direction for about 40 minutes and then we're going to stop and have some hot soup and hopefully I won't have fallen off, but you never know, I might have fallen off by then. I'm not very good at these sorts of things, I've got to say. I've never driven a motorbike in my life, so really it is just hit and miss. But I'm really excited. Come and meet some of the dogs that we're going to be on the sled with today. So look. Hello. Look. Oh, they're so excited. Oh, all lovely huskies, as you can see, raring to go. They normally put the fastest, bestest one at the front, which is called the leader. And then you get the slightly slower ones to the back that follow the leader. Huskies really enjoy running. And if they are run in very small successions, then it's, it's really quite safe. They are bred to do this. And this is, this is great fun for them. Come and say hi to some more, look. Hey. in me they just want to, they just want to get going <laughs> finally
Finally, the time had come and I was asked to climb onto the sled and learn about the brake and how to lean around corners without falling off. Scarily, I had quite a few more Huskies than previously when I rode a cart in the UK and I knew how fast they went. This sled was also thin and wooden and as Dominic the cameraman climbed into the front, I really felt like I had his life in my hands. God help me! Ah! The sleds ahead of me took off and I could feel my dogs crying desperately to go. They were so excited and I knew I was going to launch very fast. But as I pulled away, my foot got stuck and I couldn't find the brake. Oh, and like a nonny, I head planted into the snow to the left of the track, literally dive bombing to get out of the path of other sleds. I brushed the snow from my clothes and climbed back on after being given a little more instruction by the sledding people. And I was off again. The Huskies were fast, yes, very fast. And I really felt like I was getting a full body workout from operating this sled, side lunging and squatting to keep my balance and make sure the sled didn't tip on the corners. Getting the hang of it now. And for some reason, my Huskies seemed to be faster than anyone else's. So I had to keep the brake on almost all of the time to stop us going into the sleds ahead. Yet again, almost. I think one of the hardest things is trying to stop the huskies running into the sled in front because they catch up really quickly. And of course, if they run into the sled ahead, they can get injured. So you don't want them to be banging into each other. So all the time you're still watching multiple things. I tell you what, they got a lot of energy. <sighs> Oh, but the scenery was magical as I gazed off into the distance at the snowy peaks. We were truly in the middle of nowhere. No plains, no towns, peace and perfect wilderness. As I looked down, my cameraman Dom looked like a little Eskimo baby, all papoosed up, with his life totally in my hands. So I felt a little guilty when I came off the sled again I can't stop it! and watched as Dom disappeared into the distance and then the inevitable happened. Yes, plop, his sled tipped over. Poor old Dom, but he took it pretty well and was very brave, I must say, to climb back into the sled and allow me to continue on again. I feel like I've done an hour in the gym. As we wove down the snowy trail, I could see the dogs biting at the snow to get some water. This is common practice for huskies to do this, as they are bred to drink as they run. What is astounding is their endurance, and I never felt them once slow down. They seemed as fast and as excited as when we first set off. The entire ride was about one hour and I was really exhausted as I approached the finish line. I was so tired as I climbed off the sled and the only thing keeping me going was the thought of cozying up by the fire in the yurt on the top of the hill where I was promised warm drinks and food. Well, I hope you enjoyed this rather <laughs> exhausting, exciting and rather silly episode of Animal Watch with lots of bumps and falls and giggles. And if you liked it, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel by clicking the button in the bottom of the screen. And be sure to tune in every week when I will be bringing you more exciting episodes on dogs, wolves, wolf dogs, animal rescue and conservation. I am well and truly pooped. If you would like to find out more about Deep Forest Husky Safaris, then you can find their Facebook here, at Deep Forest Husky.